So in this question we are going to practice how to draw a straight line. So if you haven't watched the introduction to drawing a straight line, which is the video just before this, I would highly suggest you watch it as in that video I explain all the, the basics of what we need to know. So we said that to draw a straight line you need a minimum of two points. All right, you could go find 54 points if you want, but you only need two. All right, so we said that to make the maths really, really easy, it helps when zeros get involved because zeros just make maths very easy. So we said that to find point number one, we can let x equal zero. Okay, so we're choosing that. We're telling this equation, hey equation, we are gonna make x zero, can you please tell us what y should be? Okay, so we're throwing zero into that equation, so let's do that. And it's going to tell us that if x is 0, then y is 4. So we go onto our diagram now and we go to the point where x is 0 and we go up to the place where y is 4. And we put a little dot there because we know that that dot came from this equation. So we, had to, we, we chose the little input value of 0 and the equation went and worked out the y value as 4. And remember, this is your y-axis and this over here is your x-axis. Now at this point your teacher is often going to tell you to now make y zero and that is fine. I like that method because it makes it very easy but you don't have to. So for example you could um, you could now say okay equation I now want you to make x equal to 2. Can you please tell me what y is? So then you'll plug x is 2 into there and you would get y equal to 6. So when x is 2 then y is 6. So then you would go to the point where x is 2 which is two places to the right, and then you'd go up to six, three, sorry, two, three, four, five, six, and you'd put a little dot there, and there's your straight line. And there we have it. However, I do think it's a good idea if we do the zero, zero method, because otherwise I don't want you to be sitting in class when your teacher does that method, because that's what most teachers are gonna do, and I don't want you to feel lost, okay. But if you wanna do this method that we just did here, where you can just choose whatever you want, then you are more than welcome to. No teacher is going to have a problem with that. So let's quickly rewind to the point where we had received, where we chose the x value of zero and we got y equal to four. And then we went and put that dot over there. Now what most teachers are going to tell you to then do, and as I said, it's an awesome technique, is you now make the y value zero. Okay, so let y equal to zero. So you go to this equation and you say, hey equation, if the y value is zero, then what is the x value? So then you make y zero, and you go and you work out x, and you get x is minus four. So this equation is telling you, okay, if the y value is zero, then the x value has to be minus four. So we go to that point on this diagram, which is gonna be one, two, three, four places to the left, and zero places up, because we said y is zero. And then you're gonna make a little dot over there, and there's the line. Can you see something here? That line is the exact same line that we had when we made x equal to 2. Because remember, when we made x equal to 2, the y value was 6, and that point was over here. So the point is, excuse the pun, is that you only need to find two points. You then plug, e you plug those points into this equation, and it will pop out the, 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 it'll pop out a value for you, and then you then go plot that on the diagram. And your points that you choose might be different to somebody else, but at the end of the day, the line that you get is going to look the same. Okay, that's really important that you understand that. So let's try another example. So remember, we need two points. So the first thing we typically want to do is we want to say, let x equal zero. So we're choosing that, okay? It's like a machine. We're saying x is zero, and then we tell this equation, hey equation, x is zero, can you please tell us what y is? So then the, the machine goes and does its calculations by making x equal to zero. It realizes that this part just becomes zero and you end up with minus eight. So then when x is zero, y is minus eight. So we can go plot that on the diagram. I'm gonna run out of space, but minus eight is gonna end up down here. x is zero, y is minus eight. And I forgot to mention in the previous videos, that we should always label these coordinates. Very important. So we've just found one point, so we need one other point because to draw a straight line you need two points. So now what we 
do, and many teachers like to do this, is we now tell the equation, okay equation, what if y is 0, so we're going to let y equal to 0, can you please tell us what x is? So you plug in 0 in the place of y, and the equation goes and does its thing, it solves for x by taking the 8 over to the other side, and it tells you that x is 4. So thank you equation, you telling us that when x is 4, y is 0, or the other way around, when y is 0, x is 4, it doesn't matter. We can go put that on the diagram over here, because that's where x is 4 and y is 0, and then we'll label our little coordinates like that. And then we can connect our dots, and that is our straight line. And it's as easy as that.